Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the advantages and disadvantages of fuel cells. Let's start off with the advantages then. So hopefully you can remember that a fuel cell is where hydrogen and oxygen react together to form water, releasing energy, which is what we need. Now this, particularly in comparison to petrol and your power stations where combustion occurs, is highly efficient. And if you use the heat energy as well as the electrical energy produced from a fuel cell, you can have above 80% efficiency, which is a massive advantage. Fuel cells also have no turbines or generators. In other words, there are no moving parts. So the great thing about that is that there's less energy lost due to friction. There's also less steps to the reaction. You only have one step, which is hydrogen reacting with oxygen. Therefore, there's less ways of heat being lost. And finally, for advantages, there are no pollutants. So no carbon dioxide given out, which is a greenhouse gas, no nitrous oxides, which can lead to acid rain, no sulfur dioxide, which can lead to acid rain, and no carbon monoxide, which is a toxic gas. So lots of benefits here. The question is, why do we still use power stations and petrol if fuel cells are so good? And there are a few key reasons. Number one being, hydrogen is a gas. Now the problem with that is it takes more space than liquid such as petrol. So more space to store your gas. The other one, probably the most important one, is that hydrogen is highly explosive. So it's really difficult to store it. So what you have to do is you have to make sure the container is safe, which can be quite expensive. And then finally, for your disadvantages, hydrogen is also made from hydrocarbons, such as methane, or electrolysis of water. Now both of these involve fossil fuels, and the problem with that is fossil fuels, when reacted, give out greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, which can lead to climate change. And that's everything you need to know about the disadvantages and advantages of a fuel cell. So I've got a six marker for you based on that information. Have a go at it, pause the video, and then we'll go through and we'll mark it when you're done. Okay, let's go through. So I'm going to give you three marks for advantages and three marks for disadvantages. If we start off with the advantages, any three of the following will get you marks. So for saying it has a higher efficiency than petrol, that's a marking point. For saying there are no turbines or generators or moving parts, which means less energy is lost due to friction, that's the second way you can get a mark. For saying there are less reaction steps, meaning less heat lost, that's the third way of getting a mark. And then the fourth way of getting your three marks is for saying there are no pollutants, no carbon dioxide, no sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, any of the ones that we spoke about. Anything like that would get you a mark as well. So that's your three marks that you can get for your advantages onto the disadvantages. So you can get a mark for saying hydrogen is a gas which takes more space to store. You need that explanation part in there. The second mark is for saying that it's explosive. So again, it's difficult to store. And then your final mark is for saying that the hydrogen is produced from either hydrocarbons or electrolysis, which uses fossil fuels. And then for saying that this produces greenhouse gases or carbon dioxide. And that's your third mark for your disadvantages. So how did you get on? Hopefully you've all done well and picked up loads of marks here. I have got a review question for you, which if you want to have a go at it, feel free to and leave your answer in the comments. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you, and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.